Here's another question. Now, this could be interpreted as a proportionality type of question because you've got a triangle which has parallel lines. So there is an overlap between, so it looks like this, you get similarity, then you get proportionality, so let's say similarity, proportionality, there is this gray area in between which sort of overlaps them, but you've got to be careful. So this question says, prove that AB times by DE, oh there's meant to be an equal sign there, sorry, there we go, is equal to BC times AD. Now, if you did this from a proportionality point of view, we know that proportionality allows us to take this side, this side, this side, and this side, or you could use the full lengths if you wanted to. However, proportionality does not allow you to take this side or this side. So that's the key, is that proportionality is all about the sides of the triangle, whereas similarity could get us these over here. So this question has BC. It also has DE. So we're not going to use a proportionality, we're going to use similarity. So which two triangles do you think we are going to have to work in? Well there are only two triangles, so we're going to work in, so we can say in triangle ABC, and don't worry about your order over here, the order only matters at the end when you give the final answer then we can work in triangle ADE. Okay, so we need to find three angles. Well, A is going to be an angle in both because the two triangles we're using are this one and, and this one over here. So we can see that angle A is a part of both of them. So we can say that A is the same in both triangles. So we could say that angle A is equal to angle A and the reason for that is common. Furthermore we could say that this angle is equal to that angle. You could also use this one and this one but I'm just going to choose. Now we can't just say B over here because B could be this or this. So if I'm talking about this angle then I have to say A, B, C with a little copy on top of the B so I'll say A, B, C like that is the same as this angle over here. But now D, if I say D, the teacher would know exactly what I'm talking about because there is no other angle. So you could just say angle D over there. And the reason for that is that those two lines are parallel and so that's corresponding angles. So you can go corresp, angles, and then you must say which two lines are parallel. Well, that's BC parallel to ED. Okay, and then remember the third reason, you are more than welcome to use these two because they're also corresponding, or you could just remember that the third angle is always the same due to sum of angles in a triangle. So this angle over here, I'm going to call that ACB with a copy on top of the C, and I'm going to call that equal to E, and that's also going to be corresp angles or corresponding angles, and that's also because BC is parallel to, and that's because BC is going to be parallel to ED. And so there we have our three reasons for those triangles. And so we can say therefore triangle ABC is similar to ADE. And the reason is angle, angle, angle. Then always get into a really good habit of forming your ratios. So you could say AB, so that's that one, over AD is the same as BC over DE, is the same as AC over AE, and the reason for that is when two triangles are similar, we can say that the corresponding angles are in proportion, like that. And so now if we look at what they're asking in the question, they're asking for AB, so I'm in a circle AB, they want DE, there it is, they want BC, and they want AD, so we can say that AB, so if we just use cross multiplication, it'll be AB times DE is equal to BC times AD, and we'll just say therefore over there. So that part is done. Now for the next part, they want AB over AD is equal to AC over AE. So here you're more than welcome to do proportionality, because AB is over there, AD is this complete length, AC is over there and AE is the complete length. So proportionality can be used, 
The only thing proportionality can't do is give us access to these over here. However, we could also use similarity over here. And if you look carefully, they want AB, so I'm going to circle AB, AD, I'm going to circle AD, they also want AC, and then they want AE. So there we have it already. So we don't have to go redo proportionality or anything like that. And so we can give the answer straight away. So the main thing to realize is that parallel lines in a triangle like this might make us want to do proportionality. Most of the time that will be okay. However, if you see that one of the questions is asking you something about the parallel lines, then remember proportionality won't do that for you. Proportionality is all about the sides of the triangle like that. Similarity, however, will give you access to those lines over there.